You wouldn't wash tonight's dishes in yesterday's dirty dishwater. So why are you cleaning your resin 3D prints in the same dirty alcohol you used for the last print? And the one before that? I'm going to guess the one before that, too. Hi, I'm Clint with Starbase 3D. Today I want to show you two ways you can wash your alcohol and reuse it. Before we talk about cleaning your alcohol, let's talk about the easiest way to save money on it. Buy it in bulk. You can buy denatured alcohol in a five gallon bucket at your local Ace Hardware or True Value, a whole lot cheaper than going to the drugstore. But let's talk about the real purpose of this video saving money every time you can reuse your alcohol instead of having to buy more. This first technique is practically free. You've probably read about it in all the Facebook resin printing forums that we're all members of. Someone says, well, just let it settle, then put it out in the sun for a few hours, and you're done. Well, that's true, sort of, to a point, but is a little bit simplified. You do need to let it settle in a clear container that you will eventually be putting out in the sun. Probably going to take three, four, five days. So while it's settling, you need to have a new container with new alcohol so you don't have to stop printing while you're waiting for this. If you print on a daily basis, you'll probably need a container for every day of the week and just do this on a rotating basis. Containers don't have to be expensive. The ones you see here are nothing but leftover trail mix containers. Now just set it out in the sun for the day. Doesn't matter if it's winter or summer, UV's there regardless. So here we are the next day. Let's see what we got. It kind of looks like alcohol. Let's see how it goes through the paint strainer. Okay, now there we're getting some of the uh, gooey stuff. What I like to do is add a shop paper towel, kind of as a pre-filter, so it doesn't clog up the screen. This first technique, while cheap, does eat up a lot of your time. Not to mention needing a wall ventilated space to keep all those bins of alcohol while they're settling. While the process is a bit messy, it does yield respectably clean alcohol. So let's see what we got. It's got a little color to it. It's a little cloudy, but it's not so bad. Now let's talk about the second method. This is the one that I personally use. We're going to use a water distiller, commonly used to make, and you guessed it, distilled water, to make distilled alcohol. I'll provide an Amazon link in the description. I bought this out of my own pocket. I am not being subsidized in any way by the maker. I'm not getting affiliate money from this. This is just something that I use and is a great technique and I wanted to share it with the rest of the community. Be sure to use this outdoors. It makes fumes as part of its operating process. Please notice I am not having to let the dirty alcohol settle. That is a huge plus for this process. Fill the distiller's lower portion with your dirty alcohol, taking care not to exceed the maximum fill line. The default temperature of 95 degrees is perfect, no need to change it. When the unit detects it is no longer producing vapor, 
it'll automatically turn itself off. I apologize for the outside noise. Just wanted you to hear the normal crackling sound so you didn't worry about it. At this point, cleanup is pretty easy. Just grab a plastic paint scraper and peel up the dehydrated resin from the bottom of the container. So there's your resin fully extracted from the alcohol. Remember this is still an industrial waste byproduct and should be disposed of safely and correctly. This does not just get thrown in your trash. And now you have pristine clean alcohol for your next print. This is a process you can use over and over and over.